Hi, I'm Seth Kiever. I'm Dustin Grove. And I'm Scott Humms. And this is what happens after CCIM. I graduated from Ball State in 2006 with a production major, multimedia emphasis from the College of Communication, Information, and Media, and I work at WTHR. Graduated in 2004 uh, with a degree in telecommunications with a concentration in news, and I work for WTHR. I graduated in 2004 with a degree in telecommunications, emphasis in TV production, uh, and I work as the digital director for WTHR. Well, we, we met in the TV studio. studio. Yeah, for in Studio D. Yeah. yeah, back in the old back in the old studio, we mm -hmm. were doing the student-run newscast, which was completely voluntary. It was a student organization at the time, and we literally ran into each other. I think in the control room. We spent most of our time working together on the student newscast. Uh, we were just reminiscing about, I mean, we ate meals together, we worked on the show together. We were good students, but we were focused on the work. We knew what we wanted to do after we graduated, and we had chosen this school because of the hands-on opportunities it provided, and so we jumped right in. We were doing newscasts Monday through Thursday. Uh, two a day, two yeah, a day, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, for a while, two a day. Yeah. Our classes would get done, and we would report to the newsroom, and we'd be working on stories, editing, mm -hmm. the production of the newscast. We'd all grab dinner together, we'd watch TV together, and that helped kind of bridge over to the professional um, side of things when, you know, jobs were open and, and things like that. We, you know, some of the first people we would call were the people that we worked with at Ball State, who mm -hmm. are our, our colleagues there, just because we know that, you know, ever since college, they were super hardworking people. We were all eager when we came in. We were young in the business, and most people in the business don't want to listen to the young kids, but <laughs> we weren't just any other new hire. We had four years of experience that was as close to the real world as we could possibly get, and, and that was a challenge to convince people that, that we were wise beyond our years already, mm -hmm. and I think that that has just kept going as we've all moved up and um, done different things and, and been to markets and different stations that, that we thrive on the challenge. Mm -hmm. we, we enjoy overcoming the obstacles. So much of the industry has changed since I first started. You know, when I, my first TV job, I was editing tape to tape. Mm -hmm. And I've seen the transition from that to the hyper-computerized digital aspect. Um, I, I'm the digital director at, at WTHR. When I started in this business, really even when I left Ball State, that position didn't exist. I was able to transition from that to, you know, figure out how to take the next steps and the next steps. So when they were like, hey, we need a digital person, you know digital things, right? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes I do, I absolutely do. I was able to make that change and a lot of it was just because of being around a group of people that were always trying to innovate and, mm -hmm. and be able to react. And if I need to figure out how to, to deal with the next social algorithm change, or the next big platform, or how Apple is changing how notifications are managed in their iOS. Those are things that I have to figure out and deal with and pivot all the time. The two of you were student managers, really. Um, and, and we went through management classes and, and we did all that, but it doesn't really hit you until you are actually in a management role. When I got to my first management position, that was probably the biggest challenge was going from, okay, I'm you know this, this new hire, um, it's my first station, I've known these people for five or six years now, and now I'm their boss. Looking back, I didn't realize what we were learning at the time here, but we were learning a lot of what we needed to be able to do those types of jobs um, in the future as young managers. The deadline has shifted to, instead of a deadline that I have in eight hours, it's a deadline that I have now. And then I have another deadline in 10 minutes. And so one of the challenges is adapting to that change and being able to be flexible and not say, well, that's not the way I've always done it, or well, I'm not comfortable with that. You have to adapt to it because that's what the audience demands. We're facing immediate deadline pressure, but if we aren't 
accurate, then we lose our credibility. And so it's important to always be putting um, our stories um, in context and making sure that we've got our facts straight, but also publishing immediately as soon as we learn something. I was made a department head at WNDU in South Bend about three years after I graduated, uh, which meant that I had a team of people and I had products that I had to report up to the general manager of the station to be able to manage. Um, I, I wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't have the opportunity to, to take Dr. Joe's management class and to be in a position where I was overseeing the production and I was an EP for a while for different shows um, of making TV shows happen and leading a group of people. Uh, getting that experience in a student um, you know, program. You know, I was in this room literally running meetings for Connections Live 15 years ago. That, that experience helped directly um, contribute to, to me being able to, to hit the ground running as a, as a manager of a, of a big group of people uh, years after I left school. I'm a reporter, and so it's my job, along with all of the other reporters in our newsroom, to find out what's going on in our community and to report that, to find out what people are talking about and maybe what people aren't talking about but should. And if we don't stay relevant, then we're not impacting or serving our community. And I get to tell a story about the people there, and that allows me to be creative, it allows me to be relational, it allows me to use you know, the talents and the skills that I learned right here at Ball State. So I couldn't ask for a better job. Probably one of the best parts is I get to work with the guys I went to college with. I mean, mm -hmm. there are five of us now all together at one station. I think that that makes the challenges that do come with our high stress, high pressure environment mm -hmm. that much easier to deal with because we have this history of nearly 20 years, just deep breath there. Uh, it, it's been a long time and <laughs> right. uh, it's something that you know, makes it easier when, when things are tough and gives us uh, people we can talk to. Outside of that, it's the opportunity to be able to do new things and to innovate and to be given a creative freedom, even in a very technical job, to come up with new ideas and implement them. We also work in a building with a group of people that really, really, truly care about mm -hmm. making really good digital content, really great television. And it's just really fulfilling, especially on those big days, when you see stuff that's, that's some of the best television in the country that you are a part of.